Hey everyone, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to Relevant Jukebox, and today we're going to talk about the latest album from King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, Butterfly 3000. Whew! So here we are at the 18th studio album from the Australian psych rock band and their second release of 2021 so far. And here we get a different direction that the band has yet to explore all the way through a full length project as this album's actually centered in electronic music. This is kind of like a middle ground between progressive psych rock and 80s synth pop. And they're actually sounding like a completely different band this time around with way less of those like signature King Gizzard melodies on here and odd quirks. Which, overall, I'm actually okay with. You know, even being a big fan of this band, uh, I found myself fatigued at some points just hearing the same kind of recycled vibe over and over. And now they kind of sound like this long-lost indie pop band from 2007 that I think a lot of MGMT fans would have dug back in the day. Now, this album just comes right out of the gate and just goes. The sequencing of the project is actually done really well and stuck out to me as, like, the first five tracks move forward with a very nice momentum. And then once the fifth track, Interior People, ends, there's a little bit of space before the second half of the project starts. Which, if I'm being honest, I think the first half is just a little bit stronger than the second half. Because once that second half opens up with the track Catching Smoke, things get a bit choppy. I mean, especially on this track, which has an instrumental on it that sounds like a bootleg version of LCD Sound System. And the vocals on this track just feel off, uh, especially on the pre-chorus, where it sounds like the vocalist is just not not in syncopation with the instrumental really. However, I did dig the following track, 2.02 Killer Year, a lot more. On this one, the very like kaleidoscopic instrumental with all of those bubbly synthesizers works a lot better in my opinion. There's actually multiple tracks in this project where they do hit a nice stride and have like a really nice groove going on. But you know, where that kind of falls flat on its face is the end of the project with the last two tracks. I just cannot get down with the track Ya yeah, Love basically in any way possible. It sounds Sounds like this long lost MGMT track from hell actually with all of the repeating lines of yeah love, yeah love, just like done to obscurity almost. <laughs> and then you have the title track which closes out this project and serves basically just as a synthetic reprise to the previous cut and just doesn't need to happen. So I mean overall I did think this was an enjoyable project from King Gizzard. I do appreciate the way that the band continues to experiment and try new things on each project and it is intriguing to hear them try electronic music honestly. It's a, a direction that I hope they explore again in the future. And with that being said I'm feeling a 7 over here on Butterfly 3000. So for all you collectors out there I know you go crazy over your King Gizzard vinyl there's a million different presses of like all their albums and this one has a decent amount of them as well I'm gonna have links down below to their web store so you can grab whatever's in stock and if you have listened to Butterfly 3000 already what did you think about it let me know in the comment section down below and as always thank you so much for watching make sure to like and share and if you want more content from me hit that subscribe button peace